Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to a Dragon Quest XI. Alright, so equipment-wise, I have gone ahead and equipped uh, Eric with an Uber Falcon Blade plus three and an Uber Falcon Blade. I was not able to uh, get them both up to plus three before I ran out of uh, Perfectionist Pearls, so we're going to need to get some more of those. I was only able to get the two of them for now. I will try for more later. But for now, they are not pepped up. Um, yeah, so I mean, I'll, I'll eventually get uh, try to get them pepped up. I should actually probably put... Eric into the party, unless he's pepped up again. And I was trying to get... It's a new recording session, so I don't remember exactly what's going on. Yeah, okay, he was pepped up. I was trying to get Jade pepped up. Alright, so um, we'll just go with this. Uh, we did gain some uh, levels... I have a lot of points to spend, so we'll go ahead and start doing that. Alright, I don't really care about the Miracle Slash right now, because Zap could be interesting. Peppa Power Up could be good. Uh, I think I'm going to get Giga Gash, though. Batters all enemies with bolts of blazing lightning. <laughs> And I think working my way towards this strength would be good. I do have enough for this charm. Surprise! A bonus skill points awarded. Ten points. What? This panel hides a special surprise. Ten bonus skill points received. Well, I'll take that. Let's see what's under here. Uh, full heal. Yes, please. Choir of Angels requires both party members to be pepped up. Hmm. Keep that in mind. Magical Mending plus 50 will be next. Over here is Pep Chance plus 10%, which would be good. Um, hit Points plus 20, it's okay. And then that Strength plus 15 over there uh, is something that I would really like. Uh, and now you, Eric. I don't know when we're going to get these, but... For now, let's go ahead and grab that. Attack power when wielding, plus 20. Open up this. That is Miracle Slash. Don't really care about that. Dragon Slash would be good, though. Alright, that's pretty cheap, so I'm going to get that just so that I can see what uh, we got under both of these. Uh, dodge chance plus 3% is really good, so I'll probably uh, grab that. Assassin's Stab, an attack on an enemy's weak point, that can sometimes kill them instantly. I think that saving a point and getting Metal Slash would be really good, though. Alright, Veronica. Let's get Channel Anger. Oh, right, I don't have enough points. My bad. Uh, Silvando. Let's see. What do you what do you have? Gold rush is okay, but it does use up a thousand gold. Those would be good. Oh right, I wanted uh, worm whip. Let's go for that. And Jade. Peppa Power Up would be good. Blow Kiss. Can't remember what that is. Uh, let's get the critical hit chance when wielding plus 4%. That's good. Yeah, I don't really care about those. I, I think that I do want to see what this one is. 
Alright, so we'll need some more uh, points for that. And Rab. <clears throat> Let's get maximum MP when wielding. Let's see what this one is. Magical Might when wielding, that's good. MP Absorption. Don't really care about MP Absorption. Don't really care about Strength. Maximum MP could be okay. Yeah, alright. Go with that stuff for now. Hendrik! Uh, lowering an enemy's defense could be good. Critical hits could be good. But hitting a group is really good. So let's go ahead and take that. And Thunder Sunderer for Hendrik and Ald. And that's about it. All right. Okie dokie. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom to... Wait, did I go into uh, Galopolis? I don't think I did. Should probably do that, shouldn't I? Let's get on our horsey. Bonk. Hello. Bonk. 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 Dang it, missed him. In we go. Look up in the sky. Behold the massive monstrousness they call the Dark Star. It is burning, burning with an incandescent heat. You can feel it too, can you not? And speaking of incandescent heat, the racing calendar is more exciting than ever. The Sultan has arranged for a lineup of supremely speedy steeds in order to raise the subject's spirits. In other words, hint, hint, there are new races you can do. Oh, it's you, Prince Ferris's friend. Welcome back to Galopolis, and a thousand thank yous for all you've done. These are worrying times indeed for our kingdom. First Erdwin's lantern descends, and now the sinister Dark Star makes an appearance. Countless people have already fled the city. I have no doubt that the Sultan and Sultana are gravely concerned. They would appreciate a visit from you, I'm sure of it. I suppose I could do that. After I check the shops, of course. Hello? Do you have anything new? Nope. Do you have anything new? You got uh, fizzle foils, lord swords, gladiuses, uh, hieroglyph staves, paladin's lances, overlord's axes, beast claws, basil barbs, and that's it. Eventually, I'll probably buy some of those. I don't need a puff puff right now, lady. Do 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 do. Uh, ethereal shields, and dark shields, raging ball helms, superstars suit, flashy outfit favored by the rich and famous. Not all that good. Does it do anything else? Charm. Eh. Bandit mail, king's coat, queen's robe. Nothing that changes appearances, sadly. I don't think I need to talk to any of you. This is no time to be trading. You have all this great stuff. Look at these empty seats, senor. Ever since the Dark Star appeared in the sky, people have been leaving Galopolis in droves. Even the circus does not attract many people these days. Aye, it is also sad. I missed what you were saying beforehand. Asen poco solitario. It is a little lonely. Roll up, roll up, the circus is still on. 
Hello there, young man. How about a visit to the circus? It's just a ticket when you need to shake off those end-of-the-world blues. She's really shaking it. You are a visitor here by the sands. Who would choose to visit Galopolis at a time like this? In any case, I am sorry. We are not open yet. Return in the evening, please. <laughs> I am... I am literally barely standing on that. It seems weird how the people that you complete uh, uh, quests for literally don't say anything new as the story advances. What's that? You've come to see the circus? Oh, I'm sorry. We've decided to take a little break. Well, with everything that's going on, you know. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm only joking. It'll take more than some silly star to get us down, get us to down tools. In fact, we've decided that Galopolis needs us more than ever right now, so we're letting everyone in for free. Be sure to pop along and enjoy the show. It's basically the same thing that was uh, last time. I like that they have the Dragon Quest VIII world music out there. In there. Not out there. Prince Ferris will save us. Yes, yes, we will be saved. The appearance of the Dark Stars left everyone feeling terribly downhearted. But we must not give up hope. For Prince Ferris will save us, I am sure of it. A single star will be no match for our hero. At first, I thought that dealing with the threat of the Dark Star was beyond any human, but that would be to underestimate Prince Ferris. The fact that I cannot see a potential so solution to this crisis does not mean that one such as he will be similarly stumped. Or, or one such as me? No? Puppy! Good doggy! So let's see what uh, what's new at the races. Oh, hey, Zappa. Growing your hair out long this time, huh? His most exalted majesty, the Sultan, claims that Prince Ferris will protect us from the Dark Star. Alas, I am afraid I do not share his confidence. Its scale is so immense, no human could hope to have any effect on it. Not even a prince. Oh, I don't know about that. You need to have more confidence in me, uh, Zappa. Forgot about that. So let's see if they actually got uh, harder. Probably did. Oh, Olive, I had been wondering when you would visit us again. As you won the Gold Cup, you are now able to take part in the Platinum Cup. I am sure that you cannot wait to test your skills once more. Welcome, friend, to the world-renowned racetrack of Galopolis. Uh, the prize is the forging hammer. All right, well let's uh let's try this. Should have like looked at the time needed and stuff. Platinum Cup. I'm gonna hate this, aren't I? Charge! Why do I not, not have the green horse? I don't remember the controls again. Alright, X is Drift. Okay. I do not remember the uh, the controls. Oh wow, there are like no... Ugh. Oh, well, that, that's bad. Yep. 
Gotta hit all the jumps. And I'm not hitting them. Oh, well, now there's some. There we go. Ugh. Alright, these, these pillars are terrible. not know why I am having so much trouble with these corners. Right, I got that one at least. I got that one. I'm still only going to be third. Came kind of close to getting second. New record! Third place. Yay. Well, Grace Friend, you might not have won, but you did your very best. This track features a preponderance of pillars. You will need to be extra careful if you hope to win here. Some pillars hide muddy puddles, so do your best to plot out your route in advance. Race as many times as you need to and learn the course inside and out. Become one with your horse and weave your way through the pillars on your way to victory. Here is a prize we give to everyone who takes part in the Platinum Cup. I hope it is to your liking. Yeah, Chuck apply no more, I figured. Alright, I'm not gonna race again just yet. Right, I was hitting the wrong button anyway. Uh legendary hammer said to be said to hold the power of the spirit of the land. It's just an important item. Alright, well. I will come back and try that later. So let's go talk to the Sultan and Prince Ferris. Hello, kitties! Aw, oh, good kitties. The kitties aren't fleeing this time. There's so much to learn from the history of Granopolis. The appearance of the Dark Star above the Celestial Sands has prompted me to recommence my search into ancient Gallipolitan history. No one who is alive today remembers, but there was a time many, many years ago when we Gallipolitans were known as the Guardians of the Star. Having witnessed the descent of the Lantern and the ascent of the Dark Star, I am starting to wonder anew what significance that name may have had. Hmm, I wonder. Many civilians are terrified by the Star. That is why it is so important that we Desert Knights maintain our composure. We must not allow panic to spread. Star burns black, rises, ascends, darkness, death, and disaster portends. Seas run dry, roses wilt, foundations crumble neath what we, what all we built. This is an ancient Gallipolitan dirge. It is said to commemorate an event that took place here many centuries ago. Though, of course, it also describes a current predicament ominously well. It is hard to think that think of the Dark Star as anything other than a harbinger of destruction. Well, it kind of is. It is wonderful to see you again, Old. Prince Ferris has grown into a fine young man thanks to your friendship and guidance. Indeed, at this very moment, he is pondering how best to provide encouragement to his future subjects at this difficult time. Yeah, we'll talk to him in a moment. Oh, hey, that guy's back out there. Oh, my dear Old, it is always a pleasure to have you visit us here in Galapolis. Though you may have come at a most difficult time, my husband and Ferris have taken it upon themselves to de deal with the Dark Star, and are refusing to so much as sleep until they have found a solution. It's not really a good plan. Just kind of looking at the uh, the back of that throne there. The symbology is definitely uh, related to the star, I think. Perhaps you could speak with them. 
having proved so helpful to us before, you may well be able to provide the inspiration they need. Perhaps. Ah, my dear old, how wonderful to see you again. Alas, I fear that you have chosen a dark time to visit us. The star that looms large above the celestial sands threatens all Galopolis. All Adria, in fact. I have dispatched my finest desert knights to investigate it, but my main concern at the moment is the sheer number of my subjects who are fleeing the city in terror. I feel it is my duty to give my fellow Gal Galopolitans a reason to stay, which is why I have arranged a racing extravaganza for their pleasure. Your participation would be most greatly appreciated. Yeah, I, I have already. Yeah, Alright, fine, I won't go out that way. Fine, I won't go around that way. Who is this man, please? This man has entered the palace unbidden and uninvited, kind of like me. Simply in order to gaze at the Dark Star, what could he possibly find so fascinating about it? Typical that the palace balcony would be the perfect spot from which to view this portentous phenomenon and bring the lower orders running. It kind of is. Watch her! Cool, blimey, fancy us getting to see a massive great big star up close like this. Talk about lucky, eh? Have you seen how big that thing is? It's bleeding massive. Oi, Starface, I'm pretty big myself. But you take a bleeding biscuit, you do. <coughs> Alright, let's not do that voice again. Hmm. Mistakes may have been made. In fact, I should get some water. <coughs> Let's go say hi to the kitty, meanwhile. And I guess we'll see Prince Ferris. Alright, you have a uh, quest. Oh dear, what am I to do? Ah, my dear old, I was hoping that you would come and visit. I have a favor to ask you, see. And I know that I could always count on my old friend. Now, as you can imagine, the appearance of that black star and the increased viciousness of the local monsters have put... Rather a strain on our brave desert knights. However, I do not know whether it is due to the, a lack of experience or a lack of concentration, but the sad truth is that most of our men are simply not up to the task. It does not bode well for the future. Now, as you know, I am a practical prince, and I like to try and find solutions wherever possible. Can you imagine, therefore, how delighted I was to hear of a berry that boosts concentration on the battlefield? These miraculous fruits are, are known as pep pips, and they grow on the boughs of the pepper tree. Could I trouble you to fetch one of its branches for me? I will reward you handsomely, of course. The reward will be four pep pips. Prince Ferris wants you to bring him a pepper tree branch to help his knights focus. Lolical uh, pops out of his closet, not even going to ask why. You'll accept that quest? I will accept that quest. I know I could count on you, old friend. I would have asked for one of my servants, but the pepper tree grows in a rather tricky location. Thank goodness you came along when you did. The location in question is an elevated area in the northern part of the first forest. I have heard that only certain special people are allowed to enter this place, but that is a trivial detail. You'll have no problem gaining access, I am sure. A thousand thank yous once again for your agreeing to help, my old friend. It would seem that the future of Galopolis is in our hands once more. Ald accepts the perfectly pepped paladin's quest. I, I, I think you mean that, that it's in my hands, not yours. Alright, well, <clears throat> people are going to have new stuff to say and things like that, but I have spent a lot of time in this game talking to people. Uh, you're not going to say anything new, right? Yep. Oh, it is you, Prince Ferris's friend. I am afraid to say that Galopolis is in crisis. No one knows what to do about the dark star that looms above us. Oh, don't worry. I'll kill it. What is happening? This is terrible. It's also terrible. Erdwin's lantern has fallen, and now the dark star is risen. What's happening, please? I'm frightened. Everyone says the dark star will destroy the world. Is that true? Nope. 
Of course not. After all, my father and Prince Ferris will keep us safe. It's just fascinating. Thanks to that shard you brought me, I've been able to ascertain that the... How are you still talking about that? I forgot that he was a uh, former quest guy. I am as yet an inexperienced wizard, yet it is clear to me that the black mass in the sky above us possesses a power beyond anything we have witnessed before. So powerful does it seem, in fact, that it almost feels strange that this kingdom has not yet been consumed by it. Rumor has it that the one they were calling the Darkspawn is actually the Luminary and he's fighting against the Lord of Shadows. Well, I wish he'd come and do something about this Dark Star, but I wouldn't be surprised if even an ancient hero proved powerless against something like that. Don't worry, I'm here. As soon as I start gazing upon the Dark Star, I find myself having difficulty breathing. Perhaps it would be better if I did not look at it, and yet I find it impossible to avert my eyes. <laughs> A great evil looms above us, and is soon to rule over us completely. The end times are here at last. Prepare yourselves, foolish worms. Prepare yourselves for the reign of the Dark One. The Dark One? And for the end of your precious world. You okay there, sir? Hmm, <coughs> sorry. Looking at the Dark Star makes me feel so uneasy. Usually I do not enjoy sharing my special seat here with anyone, but I must confess I'm glad that you are here. And away I go. Alright, well, let's go ahead and... <coughs> hmm. Sorry, I don't know what's going on with my throat right now. Uh, quest catalog. Right, I can go do that one. Uh, this one is in Phnom Non. That one is in Angra La. Alright, so Phnom Non and Angra La are basically the next places that we want to go. Make our way to Gondolia now. I haven't been down here in a while, have I? Right, because it has one of those locked doors, and we don't have the key for that yet. Alright, now let's just uh, zoom to south of Galopolis. <clears throat> There's no new sparkly spots there. Off we go. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> oh, all you guys are here again. We are fortunate, I, th I think. The descent of Erdwin's lantern caused the worst sandstorm Galapolis has ever experienced. I was certain that no one would survive. And now this dark star appears. It is truly miraculous that we have not yet perished. We must consider ourselves fortunate. I could not bear to live with the Dark Star hanging, hanging ominously above me, so I decided to flee the city with my family. I would advise you do the same. His most exalted majesty, the Sultan, will no doubt do his best to save the kingdom, but I doubt there's anything anyone can do in the face of such a dire state of affairs. Galapolis is finished. Our family has decided to flee the city and head for Gondolia. It would appear that there is no hope for Galapolis now. Not talk to the kids. How much further is it? Is everyone going to die? If that star crashes into the desert, is it going to kill everyone? Me and my mother and my father and everyone? Oh my, this is terribly, terribly frightening. 
Yeah, don't worry, kiddo. I'm here. I'm a performer at the circus in Galopolis, but as soon as I saw that dark star, I abandoned the rest of the troop and ran out here. The ringmaster always told us that it's at times like these that people need the circus the most, but the truth is, I couldn't hack it. I mean, no matter how passionate I am about performing or how attached I am to the show, it's not going to risk my... I'm not going to risk my life for it. I like that expression. When people started to say that Galapagos was in danger, I fled out here with some performers from the circus. But what is the purpose of fleeing the Dark Star when the world is full of vicious monsters? There's nowhere for us to run, I fear. That may very well be true. Anyway. Bye-bye. Oh, I suppose I'll talk to you. Beyond this checkpoint is the Laguna de Gondolia, but there is no use in fleeing there. Nowhere is safe from the Dark Star. Follow me and D.I. I know the way. Alright, so... Nearby monsters. We've got all of these and one new thing. So I don't really need to fight any of you. Just bonk y'all. I have the, uh, the zoom spot here, right? Don't. Nope. Alright, well, we'll Hello. do party talk. Uh, this is all the same as last time I talked to them in the camp, right? Yes. I think so. I've been rather disappointed by the party talk, but... Part of it makes sense because you have to go into that whole screen for it. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, I do. All right. Couldn't remember if it like reset all my zoom spots and everything. Monsters around? Alright, one of you guys. I don't care about all that. There aren't going to be any monsters on the islands. I don't really need any ingredients right now. So I'm kind of only going to get the ones that are right in my face, like these. Are these the new guys, or are they not? They are new. Hello! <laughs> Let's do a Harvest Moon on you. 410 damage. And you know what? I think that we are going to do a Giga Gash. Batters all enemies with bolts of blazing lightning. Again. The malicious splatty punk drops a treasure chest, and it's a fur hood. Yep, malicious splatty punk is the last enemy. Fine for a foot hood. Fur hood. Foot hood? And I believe that, uh, yep, we know everything that's in the uh, grotto. Uh, next up is the uh, Zvard's Rust region. Let us make our way. We 
Leave me alone, guys. I don't, I don't want to deal with you guys. More of you guys. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, into Gondolia. I suppose I could have just zoomed here, but whatever. It gets sunny right as I get here. What? Well, this is odd music. What the heck is going on? There are monsters in town. Oh, hey, it's Noah! I don't like the look of this. Not one bit. That Dark Star's got the monsters acting more vicious than ever. And now they've gone and taken over Gondolia. Luckily, the locals managed to get out in time. But now it's just monsters everywhere, strolling about like they own the bleeding place, the cheeky devils. Hey, you know a thing about, too about noblin baddies, don't you? And what are you waiting for? Go and teach them a lesson so things around here can get back to normal. I'm scared. Oh, poor Connie. Alright, well, um, I forgot to start my timer, so let's uh, check to see how long we have been going. And we've been going for quite a bit. Um, so, when we come back next time, it looks like we've got to save Gondolia from all the monsters that are uh, wandering about. I only see this one. I imagine that there's going to be a boss fight somewhere. But, uh, for now... We'll call it an episode and we'll come back next time. We'll take care of these jerks. See you then, everyone.